Hello and welcome to an introduction to Steltic's Version Workbench. Version Workbench is our interactive tool designed to boost productivity for JD Edwards customers and consultants by streamlining and simplifying version and task maintenance. Version Workbench was born out of frustration with the standard tools JD Edwards provides for version and task maintenance. We're all familiar with the interactive version, batch version, an object management workbench used to maintain all objects in the system. The main issue with these tools is that they require you to maintain versions one by one. There's also no real audit trail of the changes made, and there's no way to add meaningful documentation to explain the changes. But perhaps the most annoying thing is that there's no consistency. We all know the feeling when you have to change 10 sales order entry versions. By the time you reach number 10, you're not sure what you changed in number 1, and you find yourself reviewing and rechecking what you did. The result? Business analysts spending far too much time stuck in non-productive, repetitive activity. Certainly not the best use of their time. So we thought, what if we could SQL version detail? The data selections the processing options, in fact, all the attributes. This would allow us to quickly analyze and compare multiple version details, data selections and processing options, which is an unprecedented feature. We could also compare values between different environments, perhaps between PY and production. Compare over periods of time, allowing us to check what's changed since go live, for example. And perhaps most powerfully of all, we'd have the ability to mass copy or mass maintain tasks and versions, facilitating rapid and efficient rollout of versions, tasks and menus. Imagine the productivity gain and knowledge that your change is auditable and the increased visibility. Tremendous potential. And the key to unlocking this potential is the F98-3051 table in JD Edwards. This is the version list where all the version details are stored. So to take a look at the table, we type data browser in the fastpath, open the data browser, open table F98-3051 and the table opens. If we, we then inquire on P4210, sales order entry, we'll see our familiar columns. Program ID, version, report ID, version ID, and so on. All very recognizable. But when we navigate across to the PO data column, you'll see the field appears to be encrypted. So what is that column? Well, it's known as a blob a binary large object. For the non-technical, this means that it's unreadable. It's sort of encrypted. It can't be queried, and we certainly can't see our nicely separated columns of data selection and processing options. So we needed to take the blob and transform it into a format where, where it would be readable. The result is a table containing details of object, version, table, data selection, and our processing options. We reached this stage of development back in around 2008. And at that point, our first question was, how do we make this table editable so we can change our data selection, amend our processing options, and so on? And once we've done that, save them back to the blob. And that's exactly what we did with Version Workbench. Version Workbench contains tools to extract the blob data into readable tables, which allows us to explore and compare today's situation with last week's, last week's with GoLive, PY with PD. We also created tools to make project maintenance a little easier than the current ONW tools. The result? Version maintenance is simplified, and we have the ability to mass maintain. We can also mass copy, mass delete, or remove. 
Last but not least, we introduced task maintenance, giving the ability to copy task views or parts of task views, enabling rapid rollout of revised menu structures. Thanks for watching this introduction to version Workbench. To learn more, navigate to the website or send us an email. Better still, watch the detailed movies which demonstrate version Workbench with real-life examples.